Now, continue with the case of two tangents and the circle. A few other things happen. For example, a tangent ray to a circle always forms a right angle to the radius at the point of tangency. So that, if we start two tangents rays from the same point outside the circle, the tangent segment must be equal. Imagine an ice cream cone with a perfectly round bowl of ice cream. The edges of the cone are the tangent segment that start at the bottom of the cone. These angles change according to the length of the tangents, but these angles at the point of tangency are always 90 degree angles. Since now we know that these two angles are always 90 degrees, let's turn now to the other two angles formed by the quadrilateral A, B, C, D. This quadrilateral is what is called a deltoid, in other words, a kite, with two distinct pairs of congruent adjacent sides, but only one pair of opposite equal angles. So now, if we draw a secant from the same point outside the circle and through the center of the circle, two congruent right triangles form through HL equals HL. They are made from two radii two tangents and a common secant. The secant becomes the bisector of these two opposite angles. This outside angle was determined to be 70 degrees. So if this angle was bisected, then in the triangle they represent 35 degrees each. Can you guess now how large this central angle is? Well, we know that the sum of the angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. And we also know that these angles at the tangent point are always 90 degrees. So, 360 minus 90 minus 90 minus 70 is 110 degrees. Then this central angle is 110 degrees. And because the secant is a bisector, each of these angles are 110 divided by 2 or 55 degrees each. If we do another example backwards using a known central angle, we can then determine the outside angle. For example, if this central angle changes to 86 degrees, then these two angles are 43 degrees each. Now, because these two angles are always 90 degrees, and the whole quadrilateral has 360 degrees, this being a kite, then this outside angle must be 360 minus 90 minus 90 minus 86 or 94 degrees. Because this segment is the bisector, then these angles are 47 degrees each.